The global economy today is going through one of the most challenging periods of economic stress in generations. On every continent, in almost every country, businesses and families have experienced a severe loss of wealth, rising unemployment, business failure. But the policies, the economic policies that have been put in place here in the kingdom, in the region, in the United States and around the world, have helped contain the crisis, have, have helped arrest the crisis. The force of the global recession is now receding, and the first time, for the first time in several quarters, the IMF and a range of private analysts are starting to revise up their forecast for growth in the second half of the year and next year, and global trade is now starting to expand again. The rate of decline in economic activity has slowed. Business and consumer confidence <clears throat> has started to improve. The housing markets are showing some signs of stability. The cost of borrowing, the cost of credit, has fallen significantly. Credit markets are opening up. And these improvements have been more substantial and have come more quickly than many of us expected when they were designed uh, in December and January. Now, given the dollar's role in the international financial system and the very substantial impact that the U.S. economy has on global economic conditions, we fully recognize that the United States has a special responsibility, a special role to play. And we are committed to preserving the openness of our economy.